Well, I said I was doing my flowers like two weeks ago, but I did not. Doing them now, um, it's like nine o'clock on a Sunday. It's already started raining, it's supposed to be rain for days. Sucks. Um, anyway, so I'm here doing this because, well, it makes me happy. Um, I started on these trays and I almost wasn't gonna film and I'm like, well, I should probably film. So what I already have planted is this big tray here is going to be the majority of my flowers that want like conditions. Most of these seed packets want warm soil, like 60 to 70 degrees, uh, soil 65 to 70 degrees, 65, 70, about the same 70 to 75 degree soil, 75 to 85 degree soil. So these are going to go, these seeds here are going to go in here on a heat map. I have a few things that want to be cooler and I put them in just this little tiny thing on this thing here. So I have my Vilda Kraut cabbage and my Calabas cabbage from Rebecca. I've got two seeds of each because I have so many cabbages. <laughs> so many cabbages. I'm not sure what to do with all these cabbages. And then I did some red vein sorrel. I did some white lace orlea. And next, I was about to do this American persimmon. The packet said needs stratification. So I had this thing in the freezer. Well, since last year, maybe since last March, March or April, I got these uh, from the seed swap um, that Adrian did with Indiana Backyard Gardener. And I put these immediately in the freezer and it's cute little, they just made a cute little envelope out of brown paper, it's adorbs. So there are some persimmons in here. So these persimmon seeds have been in the freezer. Oh, there's four of them. And I wanted to show you the seeds, which is why I'm filming. So I'm like, oh, these seeds might be cool. There they are. Cool looking seeds. Hey, Chloe, what are you doing? What's the matter? The dogs don't like rain. They really don't, they don't like it. I don't like driving in it. I like rain, I just don't like driving in rain. All right, so what I'm going to do, I think I'm only going to do one. I think I'm going to do the biggest one, which I think is that one right there. So they've been in the freezer, and I'm wondering if I should nick it just a little bit with the nail clipper. I think I will. Chloe, honey, what's the matter? These poor dogs hate the rain. Okay. Teeny tiny little clippers. I even brought out my file. Oh, that's pickle. Everybody's making noises. Um, that file is for, for my heels. Okay. For my 50 year old crusty heels, that's what it's for. And I'm just making a tiny little sliver cut just so the moisture can get inside the seed. Now, usually you just do one or the other, but I'm just doing this to demonstrate. They're both. I'm just going to rough it up rough it up not not too much yeah there we go can't even see i did anything i don't know why i'm showing you can't see anything the soil is also cold which i think is what these guys want the white lace or layers um oh next is i'm gonna do the steel blue holly but the persimmon too i'm like you know what these things just want to be cold and wet for a little bit so this tray is not going anywhere near a heat mat and I'm gonna put on my glasses that has uh, tape on it because that lens popped out the other day at work. <laughs> tape on it. I don't care. Um, okay, so special germination instructions on this one. We're gonna do this. Uh, yeah, that pretty steel blue sea holly. Special germination instructions benefits greatly from stratification, a cold, moist period prior to germination. So these seeds were in the freezer. Well, since I bought them, uh, this is after uh, Cece and I had that community service day at the Mercer Botanical Gardens or Mercer Arboretum. So these have been in the freezer for you know, a month or two. And then I figure I'll just put them in this cold, wet soil. Um, I think you can also put them in a paper towel in a baggie and put them in the refrigerator, like a wet paper towel but I'm just gonna put them in some cold soil. 
All right, so this one is a pouch within a pouch. Get my scissors. Get the dirt off my hand so I can tell what's a seed. Oh, okay, these are little. Oh, that's cute. That's probably enough right there. Look like little pieces of bark. Um, okay, so this is the steel blue sea holly. And we'll just do, we're gonna do two cells of three. Space them out. Now I believe these are supposed to be surface sewed. Here we go. Light age germination, press seed into soil surface. Okay, so the seeds are sitting on top. I'm gonna get vermiculite and cover them and then press down. Vermiculite will keep the soil surface moist, but it also lets light in. Next is one I'm super excited about. Look at that, Bells of Ireland. Same thing. Uh, after I bought these seeds from Botanical Interest, put them in the freezer. And they were in the freezer at least six months. At least six months. Because I think I got these last, last spring. Or maybe this summer. Maybe this summer. And I was uh, looking at a video last weekend when I was going to sell them. <laughs> I didn't. But, um... These, uh, in the video I saw, they said they got really good germination by putting it in the baggie with the wet paper towel in the refrigerator and all that stuff. But since I have these in the freezer for a long time and I'm putting them in very cold, wet soil, I'm just going to forego the uh, refrigerator wet paper towel thing. This one also, a uh, light age germination, press lightly into soil surface and keep moist. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's just do two cells. These ones, um, it says do not like to be, uh, roots don't like to be disturbed. So they recommend direct sowing. But I'm just gonna put them in here and I'm gonna be careful. Okay, I'm gonna be real careful. I'm gonna do one, two, Uh, three. That seed doesn't look good. Ah, that's a good one. This one's just really light, whereas the other ones are very dark. Up there. Okay. Just gonna cover the seeds and the soil surface. January 21st okay so for the snapdragons um, says light age germination press seeds into soil surface freezing seeds for 48 hours prior to sowing also age germination and I'm pretty sure I had these in the freezer prior to me planting them in that half wine barrel with my Lola Rosa lettuces so let's go ahead and do a few snapdragons teensy tiny like pepper, like pepper. So let me see if I can, and I did it, that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. I just did that. I just did nine seeds. Super simple, super easy. Mm. All right. Press. Last cell. That's my whorehound. These have been in the freezer also since I bought them, like October. Uh, cold stratified seeds for three to four weeks prior to sowing, and they were in the freezer for at least two months, maybe three. So now I'm gonna put them in some cold soil, which is maybe just more stratifying. Let's see, plant quarter inch deep. Press. 
press those in just to bury them a little bit. And then, pretty good. Okay, now we're going to. All right, so that little tray is done. I filmed this, I think, on January 21st. It is now February 10th. So, um, I want to show you my little, little tiny baby tray of things. So, American persimmon. We got nothing. Behind it, red vein sorrel. We do have something, and they got little red veins on them. They're adorbs. Okay, so those what is drip water. Those can go outside, probably. Um, the filled kraut, I have a tiny little... Well, I'm spilling again. I have a tiny little little green thing in there, but I don't think that's a cabbage. I don't. Calibus, got nothing. A white lace or Leia, got nothing yet. A uh, whorehound, whorehound's doing amazing. Whorehound, I might just put outside. Whorehound is kind of like a mint. I thought it would have a fragrance, but there's none. No fragrance in the, well, A little bit of a mentholatum if you really inhale. Okay, well, whorehound can probably get planted outside. A uh, tall maximum blend snapdragon, nothing. Bells of Ireland, boom. So this one, uh, way down here, this one, and then this one, Bells of Ireland. So I may go ahead and plant those outside. These are the ones that don't like their roots disturbed, so I will gently take them out of the cell tray and then bury them deeper to get rid of that legginess. So I may put those outside. Um, and then we have the steel blue holly. Look at that. We got some germination on the steel blue. Steel blue holly. That's fun. Anyway, so so seeds were done at 121. Today is 210. I mean... It's not a, a complete success, but it's not a failure. So we'll take it. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.